Andrew Tate has propelled himself into the mainstream over the past year or so, with some truly repulsive views, angling for a money-spinning fight with YouTuber Jake Paul for most of 2022. Tate has recently been discussing the potential fight and why the matchup probably won't end up happening. Today, we're discussing Tate's recent comments plus predictions for the fight, if it ever did actually happen, so stay right where you are. First up, another YouTuber has recently shown up to Jake's gym. Phase D stopped by at Paul's gym recently as the 6-0 professional boxer gears up for another fight early next year. Of course, no opponent has been announced just yet, but all signs point to it being a relatively big name. In the meantime, Jake is keeping himself prepared and is in training every day, and is seemingly willing and able to fight at a moment's notice. D joined Jake for a sparring session recently, but wouldn't last two minutes as Paul dropped him with a vicious body shot. Donald Delahaye Jr., to give him his full and proper title, said after the slightly embarrassing exercise, his hands are so heavy and it doesn't even look like he's trying. D himself is a pretty athletic guy and formerly played college football before deciding to turn to YouTube to make himself a star. And speaking further about the sparring session, he went on to explain, they told me to go at my pace and he's going to match my pace. That boy tagged me in the face, tagged me in the sternum, couldn't breathe. I was like, I'm done. A minute 30 is all it took. Paul said of D afterwards, he's got heart and balls. He's doing what a lot of people won't do, which is get in the ring with me. So respect to him. If he really worked at it, he could be good. Phase D has literally no boxing background whatsoever, so we probably shouldn't read too much into this at all. Another wild potential celebrity boxing match up now. Stay tuned. Wayne Rooney is an English football legend, England's all-time leading goal scorer. He currently manages DC United in America's major league. But if English YouTuber K size to be believed, Rooney has recently offered him a boxing fight. Rooney is a known fan of boxing and even trained as a youngster alongside both his brothers, but he has never boxed properly at any sort of level. There's an argument to be made that neither has KSI. The YouTuber made the claim recently during the press conference for his upcoming boxing fight with Conor McGregor's water carrier, Dylan Dennis, shocking fans with the revelation. He said, I hope he doesn't get annoyed that I said this, but Wayne Rooney hit me up being like, oh, we should fight, and I said no. I just don't want to do that. Why he said no remains a mystery, as many people would probably be interested in seeing what Rooney has to offer. One of the most aggressive players the Premier League has ever seen. It's widely accepted around English football that he can handle himself. I mean, Michael Gray can attest to that. KSI went on. If Wayne Rooney is down, of course, I think it would be good to have him in the space. I know Wayne Bridge is another person that's been interested in the space, before suggesting that right now, he is angling for the Jake Paul fight. But maybe after Jake. Who do you got if this one happens? Next up, Tate has truly embarrassed himself on Twitter this week. It's common knowledge around the weird and wonderful world of the internet that Andrew Tate, although definitely a tool, isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. The man has some pretty despicable opinions, and while some online have campaigned to have him removed from various social media sites, we firmly believe he should be allowed to air his opinions, so everyone can see just what an he really is. Tate this week provided more ammunition for his opponents after claiming that people who read books are losers who are afraid to learn from life. Of course, many would point out that the reason Andrew Tate is so d is probably because he never picked up a book in his life. Tate, who clearly has a very high opinion of himself, went on to accuse probably half the globe's population that by engaging in one of the world's oldest and most common pastimes, they are trying to learn from the life others have lived. Dear me. Not done there and determined to embarrass himself even further. The imbecile went on to say, but you never really learn unless you lived it. Cheers for that, Andrew. He finished again schooling us by adding, you must feel it to believe it. Books are a total waste of time. Education for cowards. Hilarious, isn't he? Anthony Smith has challenged Tate to a fight now. Stick around. Tate recently clowned jiu-jitsu and its practitioners by suggesting that the martial art isn't all it's cracked up to be. He claimed that arguably the most important aspect of MMA is useless in a street fight, adding that he has previous experience inside a cage and has also trained in martial arts. However, current UFC analyst and light heavyweight contender Anthony Anthony Smith disagrees. Smith is one of the best BJJ practitioners in the 205 pound division and recently responded to Tate's claims. Speaking on his and Michael Bisbing's Believe You Me podcast recently, Lionheart surprisingly agreed that Tate might not have been completely wrong, conceding that if you're with multiple attackers, then jujitsu in and of itself is a slippery slope. Smith couldn't help himself by calling out Tate though, telling him that if he fancies it, he would let him bite and scratch, and he could even have a knife. Smith then added, 
added, if it's just me and you and we're in a room and all I can use is jujitsu and all you can do is kickbox, I'm leaving that room with whatever was in your pockets. 100%. We would love to see that one. How about you guys? So what did Tate have to say about the Paul fight then? Jake Paul is a divisive figure in the combat sports world, with many people hoping and wishing for his demise when he does actually come up against a bona fide boxer. But most are in agreement that if he did actually fight Andrew Tate, then they would back him all the way. Tate is quite simply a terrible human being and has aired some horrible views over the past couple of years while also attempting to goad Paul into a multi-million dollar fight. However, if his recent words are anything to go by, it seems as though he might have given up the idea. Tate recently spoke to Twitch streamer Aiden Ross and explained that he doesn't see the Paul fight going ahead, saying, there's a lot of negotiations behind the scenes. It's not a simple process. Paul had previously sent the internet into overdrive as he alluded to the fact that the pair were locked in discussions, but nothing has materialized so far. The pair were seen at the Mayweather vs. Deji fight recently, where they shared an intense stare. Tay could be heard asking Paul if he wanted the smoke, to which he replied in the affirmative. Further into the conversation with Ross, Tate actually admitted to liking Jake, but explained that he doesn't feel the same for his brother, Logan, who he accused of being full of, well, you can guess the rest. What do you guys make of Tate's comments? Tate has claimed people are going to kill him next. As we know, Tate has some truly vulgar points of view, so probably has more than a few people who might wish him harm. Of course, we can't condone any acts of violence against anyone, however, but Tate has recently suggested that soon they will try and kill me, after insinuating that the Matrix are after him. He took to Twitter earlier this week to post a goodbye message just in case, saying, if they kill me, I love you all. Tate is clearly paranoid and last month tweeted a similar message. Of course, he has come in for heavy criticism and has been banned from multiple platforms forms over the past year or two, after posting some pretty archaic views. While suggesting that women were the property of men, he also said that 18-year-old women are more attractive than 25-year-olds because they've been through less d vulgar. He then suggested that victims of rape should take responsibility for being attacked. The man is truly a m And finally, what would happen if the pair did actually end up fighting then? Stay tuned to hear our predictions. Both men have combat sport experience, but while Jake has spent the majority of his boxing career fighting over the hill MMA stars, Andrew Tate has actually had a pretty decent career as a kickboxer. He has also fought three times in MMA, where he has won twice, but he is a much more accomplished kickboxer with a record of 76 wins and nine losses. Tate would have the height and weight advantage, standing at 6 foot 3 and almost 200 pounds, whereas Paul would come in as the smaller man at 6'1". Jake has weighed in for his previous five fights at 190 pounds, so it's no real surprise that he hasn't managed to sign a deal to fight Tate, as he's known to only either fight men who are much older or smaller than him. While a Paul knockout win would certainly be the most popular outcome of any potential fight between these two, we're not sure if Jake would have it all his own way, considering Tate's background in combat sports. He also has knockout power of his own too, winning plenty of kickboxing fights by way of KO, as well as one of his professional MMA fights. Jake is the younger fighter, however, and we know he has the ability to shut off the lights. Just ask Tyron Woodley, and many bookmakers have taken this into account and installed him as the early minus 400 favorite for any potential fight against Tate. As always, thanks for dropping in on us today, and remember to swing by again next time when we'll be discussing loads more cool bits and pieces. And why not do us a big favor by liking and sharing today's video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.